Hi there, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about REPL8. When you start a new coding course, the instructor normally asks you to install a bunch of things. For example, I could ask you to install Python, and I could ask you to install somewhere to write your Python code. A popular example is PyCharm. But normally, there are a lot of problems that come from that. And now that we're learning the very basics of Python, and we're going to start at the very beginning, we don't need the power that something so, so specific gives us. So what we're going to do in this course is we're going to start with a cloud coding environment that's going to allow us to really quickly learn Python. And then as we transition over to building larger and more complex apps, we will be downloading and installing all those tools. But to begin with, we don't need that because we're going to be learning about how Python works and we can do that really easily and really well in this cloud coding environment. And through this video, we're going to talk about why I recommend using this and why I think you should use this. Let's go over to REPL.it on your browser and you'll be greeted with this web page. And in it, you can search for a language and we're going to select Python. So you can use all of the modern Python uh, constructs and we're going to learn about all of them in this course. One of the key benefits of using REPL8, and the main reason why I recommend that you use it, is because your code is always saved into a unique URL. So at any point in time, you can share your code with this link here, and you can send it to me if you have any questions or you want any feedback, or indeed if you have any problems and you don't know what is causing them. What you see here is your Python code on the left, and the second button, the Run button, will execute your code and show you the output here on the right. That means that you can really easily run your code and try it out as you go along without having to, you know, download things and run them in the console and so forth. Okay, so as we write our Python code, we're going to be running it really frequently as that's really the best way to learn, is by trying things out, writing code, playing around with it, changing it, and seeing how the changes affect the outcome. 